Reading from console. Now that we know the basics about variables, we can now accept the input from the user. Use the following line to tell the console to wait until the user types something into the console. Then the computer takes whatever is typed into the console and stores it in the variable called input. So var input equals console.readline. Here is an example of how to use console.readline to accept user input. So we can look at this program below. Console.writeline is type something in, and then input is stored, or the read line is stored into input, and then we print out again, you typed blank. So in this case, the user types in hello world and into the console, and then the program outputs, you typed in hello world. So let's see if we can play around with this a little bit. Write a program that first prints out the following two lines to the console. Welcome, how can I help you today? Afterwards, the console is gonna wait for user input. After the user types something in and presses enter, the computer prints out, you asked blank. I don't know how to answer to that. Goodbye, where input is replaced with whatever the user had typed into the console. So we're gonna start with our console.writeLine statements like we've been doing for a while now, so welcome. There we go. Okay, now we need to read the next line and get the computer to wait. So we use our input, console.read line. And now we have whatever the person writes in stored in the var variable input. So now we can spit that back out to the user. And remember we use our concatenation op operators. And then we write our last statement. Okay, looks like everything is there. Let's run this program and see if it works. So I've asked the computer to help me with my program. You ask, please help me with my program. I don't know the answer to that. Goodbye. Awesome. Try playing around with that and see what else you can do.